But at that moment, also the great investment time for the full protocol is long term. That's what I think of that. Yeah. So this is my purpose performance as of now. Total return since my 2019 is 482%. Then if you are interested in much more detailed information about my corporate allocations and also my real time buying and selling action for every single crypto assets, including ICO, IDO, DeFi, please think about to join my premium membership program, real time buying and selling signal. The major purpose of this membership program to help you reach your crypto asset performance to my level here. The for more detail, please check out my video. And here's my video link. Yep. Then let's start here, ETH. So this is ETH USDT4 chart. Like Bitcoin, it's kind of the conversion trend on a Bollinger Band basis, right? The price is under EMA 75 again, which means that the market trend itself is still in the bearish, okay? Then especially because of three-hour capital, or like wire stuff, or in the 30 stuff, Ethereum price move is much more bearish than Bitcoin right now. Then is USD daily chart. So as you can see here, it's conversion trend, similar like Bitcoin, like you know, conversion trend, bearish breakout, conversion trend, bearish breakout. Then usually it's gonna you know constantly continue like you know for two weeks or so. So currently it's five days. So around like the middle of the July, probably we're gonna see the, another bearish breakout from here, throwing up the US SP founded index, right? Then once we continue the price move here. You know, the Z's candle price move is under MA18 or Bollinger Band. This is much bearish price move compared with Z's price move here. Okay? All right, next one is USDT weekly chart. Now it's pretty much clear, much more bearish. Price is already hitting under MA200, this blue right here. It's pretty bearish. RSI still remain under threshold line here, all right? Then is USDT monthly chart. So currently I'm still talking on this price here, lower price line of the Bollinger Band, currently 754, right here. So we, we may hit this price again, right? Then for the long term, all the time pay attention to KDJ. Because you see this here, all the time we're gonna see the you know, bridge breakout for this trend line here, all the time we're gonna experience is this long term bridge plan. Then KDJ currently remain under still wide opening, so it's not ready for the next blue move here. Okay. Then next up, ESPTC weekly chart. So currently it's kind of testing EMA 200s. This EMA line here, currently 0.05156, right? But I think, as I told you in the previous slide, Ethereum market momentum is bearish than Bitcoin right now because of the three hour capital and the Fibricius or Ryzen group stuff. So probably they may test MA 200s currently 0.04. 04 here. So pretty much bearish. Yeah. Next one, so 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 USDT weekly chart here. Then still $30. Just a key price line. As you can see. But still we have to prepare another bearish price move by throwing up the SP founding index, as I told you many times. So once price getting back to $40 or so. You know, with the next bearish price move on the SRP stock markets, probably sole price will go down, but you know, they're gonna maintain this you know key support line here. But if the price itself is you know moving around close to 30 dollars or so, probably they're gonna experience this bearish breakout again. This is a key support line. Then after this, we have to prepare much bearish price move here. So probably you know they may hit. 15 or 20 dollars or so. It could be possible in this bearish move. But at that moment, also the great investment timing for the third protocol in long term. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay. The next one, Matic. Matic USDT weekly chart here. Kind of similar price move. 0 0.35, it's key support line. The price is a little bit similar to Solana protocol here, as you can see, right? Then kind of same story. Once they're gonna maintain 
around like a 0.48 or 0.5 SEO, probably they can maintain this price line here. But if they're gonna maintain in that level, price is kind of sideways around 0.4 or so. Once the SRB founding index going down, probably they're gonna break out this key support line here. Then also after this, we have to prepare a much more better price move here. Probably the you know, price is going down around like you know 0.2 or 0.25 or so. That's what I'm thinking about. But again, you know, considering that the key fundamental stats automatic here. It's a huge potential here, so that's also great investment timing for us too. Yeah. Next one, FTT. FTX still pretty active to rescue a lot of like you know C5 player in the blockchain space. So this is key news. FTX US gains option to acquire Block 5 for up to 240 minutes. The agreement reached with the FTX unit has a total value of up to 680 million, according to the BroFi CEO. But simply say it's a great rescue plan. You know, still FTX US give the BroFi you know management team to take the initiative to recover their business in this bearish move. Then, but still they're gonna guarantee this you know aggression plan here. But simply say this is a great ecosystem investment cycle in long term because you know even. Brock Fire was acquired by FTX US with you know 240 million. This is a great traction for them too. Then that also attract more invest risk money into this crypto space. Simply say, I'm gonna hugely admire FTX move you know, in this bearish trend. This is amazing. Next up, FTT USDT weekly chart. So here, $23 or so. It's key step of line. Alright? But the compare is Matic or Tho. It's a little bit bearish, so we have to prepare a little bit more you know, price correction for the FTX. But to think about, you know, these their ecosystem investment activity, I do think that FTT gets much more bridge price move next bridge trend on Bitcoin or entire crypto asset market. It's a pretty, you know, high potential project. This is great. Okay. Then I saw Bros and Blockchain OS related market updates. So as usual, major gas active stats since last Monday, and all player negative stats. But the Tron hit the plus score here, but I don't think it's gonna be a sustainable one. I'm still pretty suspicious about the business here. Okay. Then interesting point is here, PSC minus 2.41, much smaller number than other major players such as the Ethereum and Avalanche, which means that some of the investors consider that you know BNB investment is kind of like a safe asset investment. Okay. Here, major gas fee stats. Solana, Polygon, Moonbeam, top three, no big change. The Ethereum hit the lowest score here since 2020. This is amazing. Then that's all, stake stats, no big change. Ethereum, Solana, Cardano, top three, no big change. Then that's all, then liquid staking. All the major players hit the name stats here. But the Rhino Finance, number one player, 4.58 billion, it's pretty much bigger than other competitors here too. It's great. Next one, DeFi Dex. Trading volume comparison between Central Exchange and Dex. Last week was 40 to 1, this time 12 to 1. Still, both in that same category, their trading volume is going down, but the Central Exchange is a little bit bridge than Dex here. Probably most of the retail investors are using Central Exchange to buy the major crypto assets here. That's why. Okay. Next one, Dex TV updates. Old player negative here, seven day change. Then Carve currently 5.4 billion and Uniswap 4.87 billion, getting close by now. Then Carve 4 TV updates, no big change. Number one, Frax, number two, three pool, and then third, STEs, get no big change. Then Cross Chain Bleach KP updates, same things, negative stats here. The number of player multi chain here, 1.9 billion, almost triple size and photo here, 560 million. Okay. The next one, DeFi, stablecoin, and lending. First of all, linear market updates. Aave compound, no ranking change. They only just land JST, 
plus 43%, but again, I don't think it's a sustainable one, okay? Then other 5.11 billions compared to 2.37 billions, huge difference here. Other is great success. Then as well, stablecoin market key stats updates. No big change here, all right? Then here's additional key news. I'm gonna share my thought about you know, what the key minus is at the hodler. Most people think about the hodler means like these kind of mindsets, but the reality of the hodler, just like this one, it's completely different. Then current entire Bitcoin or crypto asset markets, here or here. That's why if you wanna make the huge investment return for the crypto assets, the key mindset for us is be patient, okay? Now here's another evidence to tell you about you know, why the hodler is the best for the retail investor to minimize the risk and maximize the return. Because investment in crypto assets, just like investment in early days of Google and Facebook, then once we look at the legendary angel investor trusts, such as Long Conway, Peter Thiel, Wienerman, all the time, they're gonna take the simple investment approach. It's a long-term investment. And here's another evidence from the Binance research. This is a Bitcoin case, and the longest holder of the Bitcoin also maximize the investment return. In this case, plus 220%, much larger number than other short term here. So I'm gonna also basically take the long-term investment approach, so I'm gonna also recommend you guys to the same approach too, okay? All right, so the result this time, so I'm gonna make this video for the educational purpose. So I'm not gonna guarantee you any kind of certain investment outcome with this video and this video that I make, but I truly hope that my video will probably help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and water space. So I'm gonna make a lot of me this video crypto and water space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.